So backdraft is if you have a, let's say closed container and it's very fuel rich, meaning there's a lot of fuel that's just building up that could potentially combust. And then all of a sudden you have an opening in which air rushes in. It mixes with that fuel. And if you have an ignition source like a spark, it can ignite and then generate a, a big fireball outside of whatever opening the air came in. So usually it's behind closed doors, closed windows, and it's not easily seen from outside whatever the compartment is, whether it's a room or even the house. What are the state of the art now for backdrafts are basically visual clues that the firefighters learn through experience. But there's not really a definitive way of measuring something. We're trying to find different technologies or different innovations that can basically let you predict which side of the coin is gonna land on. Well, what we have here is we have a, what we call a small scale or two-fifth scale uh, room that we built where we can generate the conditions for backdraft inside that room. We have an ignition and we have a flame in the back of the compartment and we let that burn for about 60 seconds. And what happens in a closed environment is that fuel keeps pumping in, oxygen is decreasing until the flame goes out but more fuel is pumping in. At the same time while this is going on, we are measuring pressure, temperature, the heat flux. We're measuring that air to fuel ratio. The door then opens, oxygen then flushes in, and we see if we actually achieve a backdraft or not from an ignition source located in the back of the compartment. And so what we're really trying to do is take all the measurements we're doing here in this scale and saying, hey, is there some way you could shrink this down into a portable device that a firefighter could deploy in the field? And maybe it speeds them up a little more, but also maybe it keeps them safer when there's an unknown there. It's important to me because it's, it's directly helping firefighters. And it's an honor to be able to participate and, and, and work on this with this group. Thank you.